Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to automate this slider with the help of Playwright. It's going to be easy. It is same as like we did the drag and drop, uh, but little different here. So I'm going to show you. And this solution might not be the best because uh, it needs more of trial and error. I will show you what I meant actually. So we are going to take this little complex scenario here. So mostly this slider are basically built with the help of input type range. But if you see mo the modern UI, uh, here it is uh, fully made of like div and some CSS is uh, uh, takes place here and it is entirely different concept here. Okay. So there is no input and we cannot manipulate the value directly. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to click on this guy and we have to move it. Now, first of all, you have to understand how your slider is going to work because I believe every slider will have different range and different values. Okay. For this SIP calculator in this application, you can see like we can move this slider with the uh, amount of 500, 500. So 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. Like that, it increment by 500 of values. Okay. So we have to identify like how we want to move and what is the maximum. So in the script, I'm going to set it like uh, 50,000. So initially, it will be in the place of 2,500. I mean 25,000 and it's going to move like 500, 500 and it will go up to 50,000, okay? So let's see how to do that. It's going to be easy, but in the first time it, you need a lot of trial and error, okay? So here I have a very simple test. I believe you understood this, so I'm not going to repeat this. And here I'm, I have found this element. So there are totally three sliders. I have taken the first slider with the help of um, collections based text path you can find it in different ways as well okay and this one is nothing but this uh, particular text so we'll print like what is the initial value and here we are going to get that and i have set my target amount like based on that amount i'm going to move my slider from the left to the right okay now let's see how to move this so i'm going to write a while condition because i don't know like uh, i don't have any target element so that i can just drag and drop i need to move the slider based on a condition so here my condition is going to be i'm going to keep on moving until it becomes the 50000 okay so here my target amount is basically the 50000 okay and uh, we need a variable for that so let's say that let uh, has reached is complete something like that we'll make a variable here and initially we'll say this like false okay so this is false else complete is false and we are going to use it here of course it will not go because if this is true then only it will it's going to work so i'll just negotiate that and here we are going to write the condition to move this one so to move this is going to be very simple if you go to a drag and drop test uh here you can see like this is the same exact code so i will recommend you to watch this video if we have skipped from the playlist okay so it's basically like we are targeting that element and we are finding the center position that's why we have like dash i mean by two and by two with the width and the height okay so i can copy the same uh, before that we have to find the bounding box right so if this element right so with this element we are going to do so here i will say first like if we'll check if the element is there and if the element is there what we have to do we have to find the bounding box so a start bounding box that basically gives us the height width and the x and y coordination okay so here i'll say like uh, okay so we'll just move this uh, before the loop okay and we'll bring this loop within this so i'll tell you why okay so if this element this slider element is there then we'll take the bounding box that is the height and the width and from there we'll do the movement okay so for that uh, i'm going to take this value from here okay here also you can see that we are getting some uh, value because this might be actually null right so here we have to write one more condition so i'll say like uh, if or uh, we can write outside of the loop as well so if src bound is there then probably i want to do something like this okay so i'll just move it within the loop i mean within the condition okay so here we are able to get this and why this is getting because we have to add the await here okay fine so we are able to find the mid of this this slider okay this is the x1 so we are using the width and the height by two so we will be able to find that so we are going to use the mouse move so we have to down we have to click on that and then we will uh, move again and we'll release the mouse key okay 
and here is the interesting uh, this number right so this 15 uh, i was just trying like one two three and finally i found that for this particular application the 15 is the like one by one inch moment of point okay so this is like this is what i meant you have to do some trial and error because this is not something like we can find it very easily okay uh, this will work but certainly not i will show you why okay so here is complete so we have to of course make it true somewhere so what we'll do we'll get the text so i'm going to make use of this again so i'll just grab this element i have to find this element every time that's the reason because it's going to change the value uh by time okay so or else we are using the locator so we believe that it will able to use that same so we don't have to find the element again but we'll take the input value each and every time input value is similar to your get attribute of value okay now with this text uh, we can write a condition so if the text equals equals target amount then we can say like um, is complete equal to uh, true okay so then when this is complete is going to true that means here the negotiation it will become false and the loop will not run okay so i believe this is fine now let's go and run this it will fail actually i will show you why okay so here you can see that the value is moving but again it's going to the previous value it's like uh, getting like 25 same thing it's incrementing 500 500 but again it's moving backwards okay so the loop is going to run continuously and after a certain amount of timeout the script is going to fail okay so anyways i will just close it now yeah so that's the problem why this is because like when we move this guy right so again we are trying to do within the loop and it will be really really fast but the value is going to be the same value which we find only once so what we can do is we can probably move this within the loop i think that should fix the problem but again it will be like here here so we can't do that directly so what i'll do i will just update this value okay so here uh once the loop this after this one before this one right so here once we do the movement i will just update the src bound the element itself okay uh not this one so s dot bounding box so whatever we are going to get we are going to update and then again it will say like uh it might me might go null so instead of doing that what can i do is um probably i can just bring this within the loop and i can bring the condition also within the loop okay so yeah i think that is fine so first of all we'll get the one bound based on that if the element bounding is there it will try to move again when it comes to the loop uh, again it will try to find the bound and then it will do the uh, loop okay uh, let's see let's see or else we can fix it of course okay so now here you can see that the value is moving correctly based on the 500 interval so this need little bit of time to achieve that i mean like here uh, i was not sure like why it's working for 15 if i change the value it will not work let me show you so if i make it like 10 and then if i try to run this again you can see the difference basically it will uh, just move the slider uh, little above or little minus okay so we can see that now so it's going to the negative side okay so that is the only challenge i find in this slider automation um so even if i move my mouse that's going to move so that's okay anyways yeah so here is the only challenge you have to find this value correctly or else it will not work okay and if you have to go to the left hand side or maybe uh yeah to the left hand side then you have to again play with this so i don't think this is the ideal solution but even without any solution i think this is perfectly fine if you are able to find this value correctly okay so let me change this maybe i will go to like 80 to 500 so okay i cannot copy this as well so here i'll just change this like 80 to 500 and we'll run one more time if it execute then of course our code is correct or else we have to find a different solution
okay hopefully it's running so i think it's correct so that only that particular value you have to find it so that will take time i took around like one hour to solve this so yeah so that's it from my side uh, thanks for watching if you have any queries do let me know in the comments and if you are not able to understand this particular uh, SSE bound by 2 why i'm doing this you can watch my drag and drop video where i have explained why we have to do this okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon all the codes will be in my github link will be in the description